Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be running the Simulated Universe World 5. This time we're using a different team because the weaknesses... Can I check? No, I already checked it. The weaknesses of this boss is Kafka and she's weak to normal and wind. So we swapped out Sila for Dan Hung. We swapped to our artifacts. We're going to just quickly go into the blessings real quick and then we'll show the team and then we will get right into the fight. So we are running the Abundance Path this time around because I heard it's really good. So as soon as I unlocked it, I reset the, the run of this world to try it out. Now you don't have too much damage on abundance, but you have a shit ton of survivability. Like you just do not die. So especially when the Tash are on fleek. So and they, they got these really good extra little bit of damage bits here. You accumulate these like do drop charges. The more you heal, they gain up damage and do extra damage the more you've healed. So running a healer with these skills in the abundance path is really good. But anyway, we're going to choose what to upgrade. We're going to upgrade one skill. The one I wanted to upgrade the most, we've already upgraded, which is characters with a shield get 60% of the shield effect on them as attack. So that's pretty cool. Up to maximum of 160, which is pretty cool because we are running Jeppard. Um, let's see. What we want is... I might do crit rate. I might do crit rate. Why well, am I lying like we ain't about to do crit rate? Come on. It's too good, man. Flat rate of 60% crit rate. I'll take that. Okay. We can't upgrade anything else. The actual blessings we are running. Is there a way to check all of them? I believe there is. Not too much. Just in case you guys are interested. These are the blessings we are running. I'm going to go through them on screen. Feel free to pause so you can see what blessings we're running and picked up along the way. We're running a lot of preservation on top of abundance because like I said, we're running Japard on this team. So I'll show the team in a second. So for our team, we are running Dan Hung. Not too much damage on him, but we've got all this crit rate and crit damage. So it's not the end of the world. And even with 1100 damage, we've got a 35% wind damage boost because we picked up a really good wind damage relic in the dungeon. So we're only running a four piece set on him, not a two piece set on top, just a four piece set. So we're gonna be focusing solely on his wind damage. For Adelines, I did pull a copy sometime. I don't know when, during my gameplay of this game. So we got his first Adelon. Traces, 2444. Four, four. Don't really care about basic. We just got the ult, the skill, and that up. We got his extra ability so he doesn't get hit. Some attack buff there. What's this? Wind damage. If I can upgrade this right now, I will. Hold on. Hold on. Nope, I don't have any arrows to. Oh no, we're in the fucking universe. Oh well, we're not upgrading that. That's fine. Light icon we're running is Cruising in the Stellar Sea, the free one at Super in Position 2. Will be 5 one day. And that is my Don Hunk. We're running Peela again. Peela's pretty much running the exact same shit she was running last time. There's not much different about her. So 100 attack, 23 crit, 20, uh, 63 crit damage. Those crit rates are fluctuating because of bonuses in the domain or simulated universe. Light Cone is her one. Really good. Gives her some good damage. These are her traces. I have her Adelon. That's why that's 5. 3, 3, 3, 5. With her extra ability, deals 20% more damage to debuffed enemies. On top of her light calm. That shit is amazing. For her Adelon, we've got... <laughs> oh, I've been very lucky with my Peeler pulls, which is good because I love her. I'm a fan of Bespectacle Beauties and she's ice, so I love her. I think she's adorable. As for her Relic set, Kingdom of Banditry. And along the way in this domain, or I think it was the last domain, it might have been World 4. We picked up this little break set to help with break, so picking that up. Next, we are running Natasha, everyone's favorite healer. She is the exact same as last time. Her light cone in position one. These are her traces, three, three, four, six, because we've got her, her Adelon three, which is really good. Relics, exactly the same. She's exactly the same. She hasn't changed since we last showed her off, really, except I increased one of her traces. And then we are running my boy, Gray Full Buster, AKA now Fumi, aka Tate no Yusha. Right? Out here with the ice make. My boy Japard. Husbando. This is my guy. I'm so happy I pulled him. This is literally my freaking husbando in this game. So I'm happy, man. So hell yeah, we swapped him out for the protagonist. For now, we will be using the protagonist still, but look at this man. He's oh, he's gorgeous. Right, anyway, let's not get too hung up. 
We are running the light cone marches one at superimposition four. So we got all these extra little buffs and the extra, I think they get extra stats. I could be bugging, but nice, nice. We were rocking with 1800 defense. Could be better. It's because our set's a bit shit. 54% fucking crit damage. I know they start at 50, but 5% crit rate. It's nothing crazy. That's like, he's not there for damage. It doesn't matter. For his traces, we focus solely on his ult mainly and then his talent and his skill, but then we run out of materials, so that's fine. We're at 443 with his extra ability to get targeted more and effect resistance increase and defense increase. Relics, he's just basically taken the protagonist relic set from last time. We haven't done much else with him. I might, just for the sake of survivability here, I am actually just gonna, yeah, we're gonna pump that up to level seven. Just get some extra, I, yeah, we're just gonna pump that up to level seven, get some extra HP on him. Again, just all about survivability. So we've got 2200 HP, 1800 defense. It's a win-win, you can't go wrong. As for the Azelons, we do not have any, of course. It's very rare to even pull one of the base gear five stars. So hell yeah. That is the comp we are running with. Let's do this, let's get into this. I am ready. I'm not ready, I'm a bit scared. I've heard a lot of things about World 5 and World 6, but here we are, World 5, let's do it, man. Let's go, let's go. Uh, first things first. I'm with you. Let's do that. This will strengthen our nah, position. Let's get in there. Move carefully. Okay, let's get these side guys out the way first. Again, we're not going to be doing too much damage here. My Dan Hung isn't built the best. It's a budget set. It's a completely budget set. Dominated. Okay, basically confused. Makes him attack someone. That's fine. It's easily fixed with Natasha here. And with our actually our abundance skill as well. I'm going to go ahead and... Should we E? He does have two debuffs on him. 4k. Nice. Going to get the defense debuff. Let's go, let's go. Oh man, I don't want to fight her. She's too good. Oh, she's so, oh, I can't wait for this bitch to come. When she comes out, man. Alright, we're going to pop his E to guarantee his ult. Get that shield up so we get extra attack damage. Lost for three turns, I believe. Oh my god. Aisumeku! Alright, we're going to cleanse him immediately. And then we're going to do this because we have a buff for our enhancement skill on the ult. We get a thing that deflects debuffs for one turn if we they try to debuff us. So we have lost our E because we debuffed him with uh, Natasha, which was a bit stupid of me actually. But oh well, I'm gonna completely focus on this guy still. Got our ult. I'm gonna throw that out there on the other guy. This is health like what half uh, full. There we go. Oh, her voice actor is so good. She's so bad. Oh, wrong one. God damn it! Can you kill? Him? Oh, you can Oh, 3k because of the extra. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, you know what? We're going to throw this out too. I keep forgetting about that. We have the dew drop thing. So we want to keep healing. Oh my God, so much heals. We want to keep healing to uh, increase the dew drop damage. Look at that. 1k. 5k off Natasha thanks to the dew drop. Got the 14k. Let's go. Okay. What the hell is that? Oh my God. She ain't got no debuffs on her yet. Oh, but she has a buff, so we're going to get rid of that. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, it didn't work? Whoa, hold on. Healy, your skill didn't work. Why is that? Cannot be removed by other abilities. Oh, because that's fair. Now I know why everyone says run abundance. What the fuck? We're going to get our shield back. Again, we want our shield up because it gives us 60% damage of our, whatever our shield is at the time. So we want to keep our shield up as much as possible. We're going to heal. To, um, we're specifically healing to if you guys are interested and want to see for this thing. Where is it? The dew drop stack. So right now it's at 3,000 healing. So we're going to get a percentage of that as damage on top of that's going to fuel our damage when we attack. We've got some critical boost stacks as well, which is pretty good. Let's see if we can crit here. Probably won't, but you never know. Okay, got some good crits. 9k. That's not bad at all. Gonna go straight out here with the ult before we get fucking debuffed. Ult's up, so we're going to store the Dewdrop for Pila. She has a debuff on her now. Actually, you know what? No, we're going to waste that. Instead, we're going to double stack. That's slow with... There we go, defense. And then... Boom. Okay. So good so far. So, so good so far. So far, so good. 
going to stock the healing up here. Actually, I should have waited until after Jakarta's turn. I'm going to be a bit more strategical about me stacking these dude drops. But this is where we are. Japard hitting 4k. Is your Japard hitting 4k? You better ask yourself that question. Mm -hmm. She's got all these debuffs now. 11k, let's go. Ain't no one worried about that. Ain't no one worried about that. Slowly but surely, we whittling her down. Let's do it. That should kill. Hopefully. Almost. She's right there, man. We almost got his ult. She can finish. Fila can finish. No? Sorry about that, guys. Just had a small intermission. Okay, we're going to pop the shield for the damage buff. I Sumeku! Mm, my guy. Going to pop the heals for the damage buff. On top of the shield damage buff. Pop the norm. Get that gauge broken. Okay. She ain't got no debuffs on her yet. But this lowers the ice resistance. I forgot about that. So because I have um, Healer's Awesome Adalon, when she does her skill, it lowers the ice resistance of the enemy immediately. And it applies before the skill actually does damage, which is really cool for Peeler's damage herself. So even if the stack disappears or the debuff disappears, so to say, it doesn't matter because the debuff will reappear before she even applies damage on the skill, which is freaking amazing. I'd really recommend Peeler to anyone, especially if you have a couple of copies. I don't know what Adolon it is. It might actually be the fourth one. I ain't gonna lie to you, but I love Peeler. I think she's great. If you're not running Asta, or if, again, she's just a good, like one or the other, her or Asta, they're both amazing. We're gonna pop this. And then after this, we're gonna pop her ult. Get the dude drop buff. Get that charged. I don't think it's charged up too much right now, which is fine because now it just got charged up with fucking hell. How much was that? 4k on the charge. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, okay. 10k. Nice and easy. You got some debuffs on you now. 7k. Three skill points. Not bad. I know I'm worried about you, man. See if we can get that break before we pop the ult here. Shield, reset the shield so we can get some damage. Actually, I might pop the ult while the shield's up, regardless. I ain't gonna lie to you. Peeler out here. Yeah, her damage stack is getting a lot higher, isn't it? Oh, never mind. Let's cleanse, cleanse. Yeah, don't even try it. Don't even try it. We're going to go straight in with the ult here so we can get some energy back. We can do drop buff. 10k. There we go. We almost got her. We almost got her. Boom. She's broke. Okay. 2k. All the debuffs. Drop her defense before my boy goes in. Woo. We out here, guys. Maybe I should have saved the ult, but it doesn't matter because she's about to die again. And then we're going to get on the final phase, man. We are, we are fucking we're in there, man. Like swimwear. Don't have to worry about breaking your gauge right now. Let's just get the dude drop stacked and then pop that. Nice little 1k from my boy Japard, aka Grey Full Buster. She's down. Hell yeah. Final phase. Psychological. Characters that have psychological suggestion. What? What does that say? That was psychological suggestion. What the fuck is that? Oh, phase three. Here we go. Apply psychological suggestion to multiple targets and adds revelation onto the action bar. The next time revelation takes action, any targets with psychological suggestion will become dominated. Also, oh, literally just a debuff, but it just multi like multiplies. Okay. Well, I'm not too worried about that. We're about to get our abundance ult, so. We're gonna pop that and then we're gonna fuel the dew drop. Don't worry about me. To this. Abundance ult is almost there. There it is. Oh, I see, I'm guessing this little spider icon here is the oh okay. So we just need that cleanse before that spider icon activates, and it did, so that's good. We're gonna go in with the ult here. Damn, her damage buff is up by 18. 18 stacks? Fucking hell, how much is... 
two percent. Oh, so that's nearly a two hundred damage. What the fuck? Oh no, tw no, twenty, twenty plus damage. Fucking hell, that's crazy. Okay, <laughs> it's n nearly forty. That's the word I'm looking for. Damn, that's scary. But again, we got Japad, the Shield Hero, and we got freaking the Tasha. We're not gonna lose, man. We're not gonna lose. Your days are numbered, Kafka. You may be best girl, but right now I need you to get fucked and taken for a world. Bars. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. No, didn't hit no one. You ain't ready. You ain't about that life. Yeah, Bunt is kind of nice with Japard and some preservation buffs. I ain't gonna lie. Gonna get the defense debuff here. So we get ready to finish her off. Almost broke the gauge. Almost there now. Gonna pop that. Let's get that gauge broken. We're right there. If we had Don Hong's ult, we could have got the gauge broken there. But you know what? I'd rather break it without the ult, to be fair. This end here. Here we go. The truth of life is is but, a vision. but a vision. But only 5k, that's fine. We didn't have much to do drop charge there. She's got all these debuffs though. 4k, and I'm gonna pop that for the do drop with the charge back. Charge the do drop again. Because it doesn't use all of it right away. It actually spreads out between characters. But right now we're at 5k heals on the do drop. Nice little 18k, that do drop, man. Shit's stupid. Go on, Japod. Whoa, 6k off the boy, bro. Fear the power of the guitar case, man. 3k, she's pretty much dead here. We won. It's over. Defense debuff, just because I can. Just because I can. I don't even need. I'm just doing it because I can. Bye. Killed by the, he by the healer. By the healer. And that is it. Simulated Universe World 5 done. Anyone can do it, man. You guys can do it. Free to play, just like me. Hell yeah. We're going to be doing World 6 in the next video. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, man.